If you want to get the maximum amount of profit from a website, you need to get as much traffic as you can. If you want to get the maximum amount of traffic to your website, you need to get to the top of Google. And if you want to get to the top of Google, you need SEO or search engine optimization. Search engine optimization is the process of optimizing a website so that Google will be more likely to index it and ensure that it ranks highly for the most relevant keywords and phrases. For example, if you have a website that sells hats, then you might try to get it to rank for the phrase buy hats online. To do this, you will go through an optimization process that would involve both on-site and off-site strategies. With any luck, you would eventually be able to get your website to the top of the SERPs, that's the search engine results pages for that term, and thereby attract a huge amount of traffic. More importantly, that traffic would not just be from random visitors, but would instead be from specific people who are looking for hats. Better yet, those people will be looking for hats at the very point they came to your website. Yeah, why else would they search for hats? Which means they're ready to buy, and it should only take a small push to get them to make that decision. SEO can be a slow-going process, but it's still possible to climb the ranks and get your website to a point where it will start getting more and more organic traffic from searches. SEO essentially works by attempting to second-guess the algorithms used by Google to decide which sites to index and where to rank them. Google works by using bots, an index, and an algorithm. The bots, also known as robots or spiders, are small pieces of code designed to head out onto the web and look for content. They read web pages and they add that content to a massive index which Google can use as a reference. From there, Google will then use an algorithm to identify which content in that index is relevant to which search and which is offering value to the end user. Ultimately, the aim of Google is to help people find interesting content that will be relevant to what they're looking for. This involves a lot of factors and the algorithm will look at how many links the content has, how visitors behave on that website and the use of key phrases within the content. If a word or phrase is repeated often enough, then it is possible to deduce that said word or phrase is likely to be the subject matter and thus should come up in searches for matching terms. SEO basically works by predicting and guessing how the algorithm works, because no one can be completely sure, and then using that information in order to engineer your website to get the maximum number of hits. It means gaming the system, and this in turn can allow you to trick Google into believing that your site should be number one. Of course, it's not quite that simple though, and actually, as we dig deeper, we'll see there are other more efficient ways of looking at SEO. Apart from anything else, Google is constantly updating its algorithms, usually with words beginning with P, like penguin, panda, and pigeon, and that means second-guessing Google can get you into trouble. Being effective at SEO means having an up-to-date understanding of how it works and knowing the core principles that underpin the different strategies. That's where this video series comes in. Keep watching and you'll learn which old, outdated strategies you need to avoid, how to work with Google to get the very best results, and how to future-proof your site for upcoming changes. This is the modern guide to SEO for modern marketers and site owners. This is your SEO Bible and your key to unlocking incredible success on the web.